And what's going on, fellas and gents, and all you great people? This is your host, DQ, here playing Valkyrie Revolution. And we're playing it for the PS4. Gonna go ahead and get it started for the try it out for the very first time. I really did enjoy the series uh, with Valkyrie Chronicles Remastered. So, being able to get a chance to play this and see a whole new gameplay genre, I'm really excited to play it. So, let's go ahead and get started and let's Rag get it going. Night. A mysterious ore that emits an azure glow. It contains a magical energy known as mana. Its discovery brought prosperity to the masses, thanks to a select few who could wield its power through alchemy. In due time, the Mana Engine, an alchemic device that uses Ragnite as fuel, was invented in Europa. The processing of Mana itself became an industry, allowing the masses to access alchemy and sparking a revolution. This Azure Revolution transformed Europa. As the demand for Ragnite grew, so too did the conflict between countries. Thus began the Age of Imperialism, in which countries would expand their borders through aggressive military action. The revolution transformed mankind's history into one of endless war over the Azure Mineral. The Kingdom of Jutland, September 15th, 1954, BC. On this day 100 years ago, the European Liberation War that shook the country came to an end. Elsinore, the capital of Jutland, is lively in celebration for the centennial anniversary of the country's freedom. Meanwhile, in a grove far away from the bustling city, two people from the Institute of Alchemy stand before a grave. I'd like to know the truth, Professor. The truth? What of? I've been researching the Liberation War for a long time, and after going through the records, I've begun to have some doubts. Like, did the traitors really commit treason? The Elsinore trials have ruled it as such. The history books paint a similar picture, too. I've seen the court records written by Lord Donovan Lindegard. The five traitors conspired to thrust Jutland into war for self-interest. They incited the citizenry to rise up, leading to the death of thousands. But is it even possible to start a war through personal greed alone? 
That conflict is now referred to as the Liberation War. The name speaks for itself. Doesn't the country as we know it exist exactly because they rose to action? Professor, you come from a line of instructors that spans five generations, all of whom taught at the Institute. And the time of your great-great-grandmother's tenure is of particular interest. I've heard that Princess Ophelia and the leader of the traitors, Amlet Gronkare, were classmates and her pupils. Have you heard anything from your family about that period? How did the traitors feel? What did they think? Or why did they lead this country down the path of war? If there's some hidden truth, we should share it with the world. I've looked through a lot of historical documents and research papers regarding the traitors. I've reviewed historical facts and researched them time and again. And I've concluded that there's an important fact that remains hidden about the traitors. And that would be? I haven't gotten that far yet. Still, I don't believe that the traitors started a war for selfish reasons. Jutland won the war and underwent a massive growth. The fact that they laid the foundation for it should be ample reason why we shouldn't think of them as criminals. If I may be so bold, I even think the honor of those five should be restored. That is quite a bold notion. <laughs> There's no need to restore their honor. Then do you accept the contents of that trial, Professor? They didn't want to restore their honor. They wanted to watch over this area. That was their only request. Huh? It was for that reason they accepted the brand of traitor and the penalty of death that accompanied it. Their only wish was for all five of them to rest here in this land. Still, the people couldn't forgive them. But it's clear that their request has been granted. Why is that? It was done out of love. A complex one at that. You have heard something then, haven't you? Please, you have to tell me, Professor. Very well. <laughs> what I'm about to discuss, as you've surmised, this is a truth that's been passed down by my family, starting with my great-great-grandmother. Listen to it in its entirety, and then decide for yourself if this is a tale that should be shared with the world. October 4th, 1853, E.C. The region of Molda, where we stand now, became the first battleground in the war between Jutland and Ruse. Jutland's anti-Valkyria squad challenged the Ruzi Empire. They were known as the Vanergind, and their commanding officer, Amlet Gronkare, was one of the traitors. Hey, Helena. That racket you've been making is getting on my nerves. Huh? I'm just, uh, trembling with excitement. <laughs> Looks like we've got a tough one over here. I expect great things from you, Private Anderson. Y you can count on me. I, I must be excited, too. 
That's why I can't stop trembling. You're just scared. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you ought to be following my example, little boy Bloom. I am the very paragon of vitality, vivacity, and virility. Ugh, I'm surrounded by children. War's about to break out and you act as if you don't have a care in the world. Excuse me? Miss Bridget, surely you're not including me with the rest of this ragtag rabble. <laughs> you're the brattiest one here, Isaac. You're quiet as always, Tilda. You're pretty calm yourself, Bridget, even though the enemy's practically within reach. That I am. Strangely so. Once the battle starts, though, who knows what'll happen. I've been waiting for the day to take revenge on the Empire. I'll give no quarter. Well, we have been pushed around a lot by the Rucks. Everyone has some grudge against them, big or small. The old lady down the street from us died the other day. They couldn't find any medicine for her in time. She was so nice. <laughs> God, this is unacceptable. <laughs> As if we'll let an economic blockade kill us. If we're gonna die, we'll go out with a bang. Just so. Twas to save my people from such a regrettable fate, so far as I am able, that I have taken up the sword alongside you. We must break free from the clutches of imperialism and put an end to this unjustly imposed embargo. Amlet Groncare. Yes? I must say, I truly am glad to have joined this unit, for it has attuned me more closely to the will of my people. Lieutenant Vilfor. Yes, sir. Have the princess stand down. Beg pardon? I still have matters to discuss with you. I don't. Uh, must you always speak so obstinately? Even to your... Come, your highness. Godot! Princess, when your commanding officer says stand down, you stand down. You're not students anymore. Helena! Aw, oh, come on! Fifi's just trying her bestest, you know? You always take the princess's side, Sarah. Why don't you become her handmaiden? How rude! What's with the attitude? Doesn't seem like they've bolstered their numbers nearly as much as the report indicated. Even if they had, we have our orders. Of course. Watch over the princess. Understood. Sorry for the delay, Lieutenant Gronkair. started <sighs> sir his majesty decreed at 0752 to all citizens of Jutland the annulment of our alliance with the Ruzi Empire he has declared we're entering a state of war against them anti Valkyria squad prepare to commence operation our objective is to seize the outpost and take back our land from the Empire everyone please lend me your ears this is not just a battle, but the dawn of a war for our people's independence. May the blood of our own go unshed. And may we bring victory to Jutland, our country and home. Jutland back then was in a state of poverty. The Ruzi Empire, who is in a long-standing alliance with our country, approached the other major powers of the world. Together, they launched a year-long economic embargo, which would later be known as the BRFH Blockade. BRFH. Brenland, Ruse, Franck, Hobstria. Those four powerful empires had ceased all trade and commerce with our country. With the blockade in place, the livelihood of the Jewish populace was strained by a lack of resources. Jutland went to war under those circumstances.
Let's go. All right. Let's do this! No match for us. Let's end this! Out of my... Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Finally, they bring out the big guns. The enemy forces are slow to react. I wonder if they're still half asleep. Private Helena Anderson, ready for action. Take it down. You win! 
Sorry, Watch pal. out! <laughs> Our tank! It's out of commission! Where the hell are they coming from? So they've finally taken the bait. Runner, send word to the Motherland. Everything's proceeding according to His Imperial Majesty's designs. There are several opinions about how the war started. One theory is that a desperate Jutland finally decided to mobilize, similar to a cornered animal. Another, that Jutland preemptively attacked due to intel that the Ruzi Empire was launching an armed invasion. Please do not worry for my sake. Am I not a soldier, too? I can see to my own safety. Princess Ophelia? How audaciously admirable. But, uh, Phoebe, you're still royalty, aren't ya? No princess left behind, says I, and no soldier, too. Guarding your highness is an order from our commanding officer. You can leave your protection to us. Nay, surely that would ill serve us all. <laughs> It's over. You mean... he's dead? Hey, uh... you all right there? I'm still so inexperienced. But I can survive. Nay, I must. For my country, I will. Phoebe! Your Highness, wait! Stand Incoming back, enemy. Your Highness. Do not underestimate a soldier! In the name of Jetlin! Come on, still fight! Ah! Can you stand? Princess, can you stand? Uh, yes. There a problem, Godot? No. The princess just won her first fight, is all. You okay there, Fifi? You look even paler than usual. But of course. She's killed a man with her own two hands. Such is the way of war. However, if you intend to follow us further, you must grow inured to death. A friend as well as foe. You really need to learn how to read the mood. Still, what you're saying is correct. For once. Your Highness, it's wonderful that you volunteered for your country. But if I may be frank, you're a liability. 
no matter how compatible you are with Ragnite, that has no bearing on your qualifications to be a soldier in the field. At this rate, someone will die protecting you. Mm. Everyone, I apologize for this disturbance. I'm quite all right now. I'm fine. Please forgive my lapse in judgment. Rest assured, it will be my last. Fifi. Amlet. I defer to your authority. Please grant me leave to continue fulfilling my soldierly duties. You got this? Yes, sir. Then prove it. That work for the rest of you? We've taken care of most of their monotech, so let's finish this. Even my king father has never experienced the likes of this. And this is true. I am the princess. I am a soldier. Defender of the people, protector of the realm. All right. To me. Looks like something out of a bad dream. Think such heavy mono weaponry exists. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? Right? I'll take it on. Bring it! Amlet! Balthus. Target the tank and take it down!
Hit my prime yet. I haven't hit my prime yet, you know. We, we did it. <laughs> Twas a smashing success. Well done, me. Don't bother. The rear guard will take care of it. True. Our mission is to gain control of the area. Suffice it to say, we've accomplished just that. Commander! What just happened? The hell's he doing now? First Sergeant Ramadal, you're in command. I'm going after him. I am coming with you.
Damn it all! His Majesty will never forgive me for this humiliation. Y Your Excellency, the enemy! Huh? <laughs> what the hell? Wait, you're the... You, you fool! Do you have any idea what you're doing? You have brought the wrath of the entire Ruzi Empire upon you! Where's Maria? What? I know exactly what I'm doing. You're Balthus Grimmenberg, one of Ruse's four Grand Generals. <laughs> we knew you'd be here. It's why we planned this op. To kill you. Me? Well, I do feel honored. But if you kill me now, your last chance at brokering a peace dies with me. Or, do you really plan to take my life, even if it drags your whole country into war? Have you... lost your mind? I won't ask you again. Where is Miss Maria? Ten years ago, you and your Emperor came here to Molda. I know you took her. You took her? And you... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Are you serious? All this over one woman? Do you realize just how many people are going to die because of you? Ah, but you do know, don't you? You're a piece of work. You're completely insane! You don't even remember. <sighs> That's right. You wanted to know about your little wench. Maria. Maria, huh? If I recall, one of my mistresses. She was a real nympho, that one. She was a hell of a slut. That's fine. It doesn't matter anyhow. I remember. I'll never forget what you rocks did to us. What were you just talking about? That was their commander. Our mission was to capture the base. We had already won. Yet you killed this man. In cold blood. He was a Grand General, yes, but by what right did you take his life? Answer me, Amlet Gronkhair.
Good work, Anne. Confirm it once more. Is it true that Jutland has attacked? Yes, Your Excellency. <laughs> Wonderful. We can finally deal with the Jutes as we please. And Balthus? He was preparing to engage the enemy when we left. I believe we should get more information soon. Your Majesty, forgive my intrusion, sire. If it isn't the envoy... Hail, Emperor Claudius, and well met. I, Lord Donovan Lindegard of Jutland, hope to find you in good health. What is it? You seem in great haste. M moments ago, I received grave tidings. The alliance between our nations has been severed by a declaration of war. We already have knowledge of this news. Indeed? As expected of His Majesty. Our Empire's treasured outpost was attacked. Can it be? That once contested land was a symbol of peace. Correct. We shall, therefore, answer the kingdom in kind. Words can't convey my regret. As a diplomat, my purpose is to build a bridge between our countries, a bridge now burnt. My labors to subdue talk of war, so that not a drop of Judish blood must spill. One foolish act brings it all to naught. Since it has come to this, I will return at once and put an end to this wretched war. Your path shall be a harrowed one, Be gone. Thank you for your leave, sire. Now I must hurry back home. Farewell. We now at last have cause to strike at Jutland. Our forces await your orders, sire. It is reported that the news of Balthus's death reached the Empire after Lord Lindegard returned to his country. News that the country had reclaimed territory brought joy to the normally quiet lives of its citizens. However, this uplifting atmosphere and the events that led to the war were carefully constructed by the five traders. Yo! Look who's here! Today's MVP! Just like old times. Hey, Am? Yeah. Hasn't changed a bit. 
Well, shall we begin? It's good to be back in our palace. To today's victory. Cheers! Cheers. Delish. Nothing like good wine and great company. Just like I keep telling you guys, Lady Luck is on our side. I was wrong, Am. Like you and Saul said, war's our best bet. The public supports the war, and the opposing factions are being pushed back. Things have been set into motion. Right. No stopping now. Balthus didn't remember what he did to us. What? Hey, you're joking, right? After the shit he pulled? That can't be. He killed so many people. How could anyone forget so much bloodshed? It simply shows that a small incident like that was an everyday occurrence for them. Whoa, whoa, the hell you mean small incident? Still, we've accomplished one part of our revenge. There is something that bothers me, though, Am. What's that? One squad member and the princess showed up, didn't they? After you killed Balthus? Seriously? Yeah. So they saw you? It's nothing to worry about. They saw me kill an enemy general, nothing more. And I guess that's fine. Keep an eye on them, just in case. Sure. Anyway, that's one down, four to go. Let's make full use of the coming winter for this war. We'll advance on Ruse's capital and take revenge on the Emperor. Maria should be with him. And that's why we need to save her. Hell yeah! I can't wait to see her again. By the way, Emlet, have you heard already? What about? Your rank. You're being promoted to captain. First Lieutenant Amlet Gronkare, in light of your faithful service, I hereby promote you to the rank of Captain. Your Majesty. You also have my gratitude for bringing my daughter safely home. Prithee, was she a burden to the operation? No, sire. Princess Ophelia showed great bravery on the battlefield. Oh, is that so? Good. Very good. Loyal subjects. You have served your country well. That province once belonged to the kingdom. Reclaiming it is a benefit to us all, and a change for the better. There may be hard times ahead, but I have hope that our nation will continue to progress forward. Warriors of Vanergand, keep the light of Jutland bright! Father, I wish to say something as well. My beloved people of Jutland, for the first time in my life, my metal was tempered in the flames of battle. It was an experience I can scarcely put into words. Only by reminding myself of why we fought did I survive. Twas for you that my countrymen achieved this victory. My eyes have been opened to the horrors of war. But we have languished under the Emperor's embargo for far too long. No longer could I stand idly by watching our kingdom lapse deeper into exhausting destitution. Thus, I chose to act. And put myself in the front lines. I will continue to fight for Jutland, my beloved country. But for that to happen, we need the help of our military. Our parliament uniting the people. Our proletariat supporting the industry. Our press giving voice to the populace, and all the citizens of the nation working together till the end of the war and the prosperity of Jutland. I will keep fighting at the vanguard, dreaming of that day. Nice speech, Princess. But that's easier dreamt than done. Yes, but her presence alone will help sway the public in favor of the war.
Your Highness. Good day. Why, look who it is. Good day to you. Of course, you're here. My, aren't you saucy? I am the princess's lady in waiting, after all. Hmm. <laughs> Is something the matter, Godot? Princess, might I have a word with you? In private. I'd advise against that, milady. He may be my older brother, but to hold privy council alone with a man? Oh, the scandal! Please, Miss Ophelia. Excuse us, Miranda. Oh, you don't need to apologize to me. This would-be Romeo is the one overstepping his bounds. Besides, I'm only pulling his leg. Just go. My time is very limited. Yes, yes. <clears throat> Princess, about Amlet. Did you learn something? Not a great deal, I'm afraid. All I could learn about his life before the Institute is that his adopted parents passed away. Nothing more. He has no past. What do you suppose that means? When he struck down Balthus, he said, I'll never forget what you Rux did to us. He's hiding something. Of this I am certain. And I fear whatever that may be will betray us all. I'm sure further investigation will yield the truth. I'll continue looking into him. Good day, Princess. Amlet. Who are you, really? Bring you news of weal, or woe? Brenlin's unit has been decimated. Everything is as you have commanded. Good. On to the next step, Reaper. Next is Ipsaria. The Ragnite capital of the world. Sounds like fun, yeah? Ipsaria was once the leading country in Ragnite production for Europa. Originally, Rus was lacking in both natural resources and national power, not unlike Jutland. But after seizing Ipsaria, Rus exploited those resources to become a global power while toying with the existing ones. In a manner of speaking, Ipsaria is the heart of the Ruzi Empire. We will have Jutland take it. Our presently destitute country should be rejuvenated by gaining control of the Ragnite. Which in turn means weakening Ruse. <laughs> you magnificent bastard. Look who's talking. Have you seen your suit? <laughs> Once we get our hands on all that Ragnite, my company's net worth is gonna skyrocket. You wouldn't be the only one to profit. If current issues like inflation or supply shortages are resolved, naturally... The people of Jutland will see the war as a success, just like we want. Mm. Violet, are any Grand Generals stationed in Ipsaria? No. And how do the people of Ipsaria feel about Ruse's occupation? To hear my business partners tell it, they don't think too kindly of their Imperial occupiers. 
After Ruse invaded and took control, the Emperor didn't waste any time cleaning house. Executed the entire royal family along with any loyalists. That sounds like something Claudius would do. Still, the effect was instantaneous. There are hardly any dissenting opinions against Ruse there since they fear military oppression. Doesn't mean their dissatisfaction isn't simmering under the surface. Guess that's where I come in. Got it. We'll distribute an anonymous flyer. A manifesto from resistance forces trying to shed a light on Ruse's crimes and restore honor to their late king. Straight up sedition. And I thought I was the bastard here. I take that as a compliment. Stir up Ipsiria and lay the groundwork, making them more accepting of Jutland. It's a solid idea. You can leave the distribution of the flyers to me. Please continue the operation within Jutland as well. More rabble-rousing? We already threw fuel on that fire. We'll do it as much as we can. A war effort's only as strong as the citizens who support it. Precisely. Amlet, make sure to pay attention to the citizens when you walk around town. We can gauge public opinion toward the war by their attitude toward the commander of the elite unit. And again, be amicable. <laughs> That's rich, coming from you. Got it. Good. That concludes today's agenda. Well then, meeting adjourned. It's about to get real busy around here. Beautiful sunset. We can't help but come here, can we? <laughs> this used to be our favorite spot. Yeah. I have an idea, Am. What do you say we go grab a drink afterward? I'd rather just get back to headquarters. Oh, come on. A few rounds wouldn't hurt. We don't need anyone getting suspicious of me. Besides, I need to put together a plan to free Epsaria. <laughs> What an annoyingly flawless response. Well, come join me next time. We haven't gone drinking in a while with just the two of us. Even you need to unwind at some point. Sure. I'll hold you to it. You just gave me your word. You're a rare breed of man, Am. The kind that doesn't pass out when they go drinking with me. <laughs> I won't let you get away so easily. <laughs> well then. I'll see you around. All right, everyone, let's head back home. How far did we get? Alright guys, so we go ahead and conclude this video. This is basically the first hour of the Valkyrie uh, Revolution game. Oh my god, dude. I think I may have probably played the game for about a good 15 minutes out of this whole 45 minutes of cutscene. So there you have it for those of you that are looking to actually get this game. If you like what you saw and if you want to see more content from the game, definitely hit that like button and actually hit a comment below. So therefore I know, so therefore it motivate me to continue playing because, man. So anyway, this is your